Hello, let's continue our discussion with the business process engineering. Now, the question here would be how it can help us. This would streamline the process with your strategy. No? Why? Because it's about rethinking your processes. For you to be able to, perf to make sure that your targeted output would actually be uh, achieved in relation to the different aspects such as cost, quality, service, speed, and customer satisfaction. So, paano nga pala to? Yung ating business process, the engineering, what are we going to, to, to do? So, you have to look at your tools. You have to look at the different steps. Okay? So, Ano yung tools pagka sa uh, engineering? You have to, syempre, kita nyo to. Ano yung nakalagay dito? The, we, we, we need to rethink and we have to look into the critical measure. Di ba kailangan, laging yung tinitingnan yung costo nyo. At kung paano kayo makakapag-deliver uh, ng uh, as, as what you have promised. So, aside from you have to focus on your customer, you have to look at the processes involved. Naba? Ano pa? Para, para, really, you would be able to rethink. Dapat, nagbe-benchmark kayo. Ano yung benchmark? Uh, comparing yourself. You have to, uh, have progress. Naba? Sarili sa sarili mo. At, dun sa industry, kaya may industry analysis. And you are willing to uh, be involved with change. Kaya may mga tinatawag na tayo yung change manage, management. And you have to uh, monitor. And, and how can you do that? You need to have a mapping no, of your business processes. Now, um, in, in, in doing so, na we're looking at these tools. What are the different steps? Eh, di lagi namang you start with the objective and look at your framework. Okay? Then, dahil customer focus tayo, then you need to know the needs of your client kaya importante yung inyong marketing. ba? At dahil focus din tayo sa process, o oh, ano yung third step natin? You have to know your existing process. Alin dito yung value adding and non-value adding? Para yung, uh, para you can, uh, ano yung usapan natin nun? Eliminate yung mga, yung waste, diba? Then after knowing that, then you can redesign. Yun na yun, you can redesign na. Then implement what you have uh, redesigned. Kaya tinatawag na, you, you have your change management. Mapping, kasi you have to, you have to uh, monitor your, implementation. Now, you're given a sample, di ba, ng dito. Uh, what are the processes they follow in their uh, order delivery system? And ano yung na-identify nila na uh, non-value adding activity? O ayan, kung sinabi sa inyo, waiting time. So, tingnan na, kailangan uh, ma-minimize natin to, di ba? And then, ano pa? Ayan, no? Sometimes items are held in inventory uh, until a truck is available for shipment. O waiting time pa din yan, di ba? Before you'd be able to deliver. At ano pa? Yung quantity na diniliver mo, eh hindi ka parehas nung what had been requested. Eh di panipanibagong cost na naman yun dahil magpapadeliver ka. Di ba? Ano pa? Ang daming transfer across department. Bago kayo makapag uh, deliver doon sa what had been requested, so it would it would really delay your your uh, providing the products, providing the service, and ano pa? Uh, we need to ayan nga re-engineer the order delivery system, and what else? Uh, you have a customer relationship manager. And uh, you would like to enter uh, a long-term contract, no? Spec relating to quant 
to, to consumers' concerns such as quantity and prices. So as a relationship manager, you have to work on uh, delivering the, the, the product no, of the company uh, on a timely basis. And ito yung uh, what, what you have, uh, and may technology aspect, the customer order will be sent electronically to manufacturing to minimize the, alam mo yun yung pa different transfer, di ba? And ano sabi, completed items will be shipped directly to the customer from manufacturing. Ala na yung parang three-party system na ilalagay pa doon sa sa uh, warehouse and then saka pa ipipick and then idadala sa customer. And technology support na kada shipment, ito yung magti-trigger ng preparation of the invoice. no So, maiiwasan yung uh, pabalik-balik na processes. And with that, paano ka natin nagawa yan? Kasi, you, one that you can use is your balance scorecard. Uh, pagbalik tanaw natin yung different perspective, financial, customer, internal, and learning and growth. Ano ang focus ng financial perspective? Shareholder value. And, and anong sabi sa atin sa finance? Ano ang nag indicator ng shareholder value? You, aside from operating income, because this is an internal goal of the firm, no? Wait, I'll go back. You also have the market price, no? That's uh, an indicator. Pag uh, you look at the whole perspective of the organization, the market price. The operating income is your internal goal, okay, sa finance. Then, uh, how can we do that? We need to manage uh, cost kasi we would like to have cost leadership and make use that we'll be able to fully utilize unused capacity. So, this is good kasi ang target mo, 2 million naging 2.1, diba? And, and uh, because you have better performance and you build stronger uh, customer relationships, so you are able to increase from 3 million with your target to 3,420,000. And you just compute the ratio, diba? Yeah. How is customer perspective? We need to be able to increase market share and customer satisfaction. Ano ang indicator niyan? Uh, we look at the uh, survey, we look at uh, your communication network segment. And again, how are we going to as uh, assess? Then you look at uh, uh, your target versus actual. Now, the, the figures given here are uh, just sample. No? Uh, and so, puro better. No? Kasi we are given the performance indicator, future needs and uh, target customer segment based on the survey, diba? And look at the increased customer focus of sales. Ang, I would like you to focus on would be at the initiative kasi these are the key performance indicator. So I would like you to, as your experience point, look at the um, other key performance indicator for each of the perspective. You give two samples, no? Kasi yun ang crucial dito, pag sa balance scorecard, ano yung performance indicator na gagamitin natin uh, to evaluate our, or to, as well as monitor our activities, no? And in terms of internal process objective, syempre it's, it's processes na nga sabi, di ba, focus on what you're doing. Yan, uh, ito yung objective natin, improve the quality and productivity and be able to deliver. And what our measure yield is output plus pag sinabing yield and whether are we on time or not kasi you have to match your measure with the objective okay nakita nyo quality productivity so you look at the uh, output no and delivery kita nyo you have on time delivery okay so ito yung sinet nila na target performance um, then the actual performance with the engineer order process delivery is lower than the target you have to uh, go back and study again. Diba? And, and as the learning and growth perspective, and we look at the 
aligning employee with organizational goals. Siyempre, di ba sa pinag-usapan natin sa sa responsibility accounting, yung goal congruence, and improve the man- manufacturing processes. So, ito yung indicator, uh, satisfaction survey, and uh, looking at the improvement in process control as the KPI. You know, what are the result of what they did in terms of the survey. Puro, puro uh, tumaas, ano, yung based on the sample. Um, so, by having this uh, different initiative, then you would be able to align your uh, strategy with what is being demanded by the different entities affected by the activities of the organization, diba? Kasi, um, we have to make sure that what we're doing is uh, making people around us happy and we know that happy people would, would actually be giving us better performance in the organization. So, in aligning the business scorecard to strategy, ito yung binigay sa inyong financial perspective measure. Operating income, uh, nag-grow ba yung kita mo, nabawasan ba yung gastos, that's your return on investment. And in our responsibility accounting uh, discussion, you competed for the return on investment. And in your uh, performance management subject and in uh, uh, cost accounting, you were exposed to variances, diba? So, which we also utilize, you will also utilize here. And how about with the customer perspective? Ano yung gagawin natin? Market share, customer satisfaction, customer retention, time taken to refill customer requests. Kasi you are, the lesser the time uh, involved, we would uh, somehow be able to deliver a better product. Diba? Pag uh, agad na answer yung customer request, syempre. And how about internal business uh, perspective? We have uh, manufacturing capabilities, uh, new product, new uh, development time, new patents. Okay? These are in terms of uh, innovation processes because you are looking at internal business perspective. Then the operation processes, dapat lesser ang defective, mataas ang yield, dapat uh, on time ang delivery nyo, kung pwede nga mas maaga pa, diba? And uh, lesser setup time for us to be able to, to uh, be more productive. And the downtime should be minimal because these are non-value adding activity. Kahit naman sino tinitingnan yung after sale service, de ba? In terms of kung may mawan warranty ba, kung uh, are they providing uh, repair services or replacements, no after sales, yan. So with the learning and growth, you're looking at uh, have we been able to uh, provide for their. Uh, professional development, looking at their skill level, looking at the satisfaction score, mas, mas mabilis ba yung turnover rate? Kasi ang turnover, tinitingnan dito kung um, marami bang umaalis no, on a short period of time o halos lahat sila nag stay mas, mas marami ba yung uh, gustong pumasok sa atin at mag-stay kesa doon sa nag-employ then after a while umalis na? Then, is there access to information? No? Kasi syempre, uh, people need to be informed for their task to be provided no? effectively and efficiently. Kaya, tinitingnan nyo din yung information system availability. And uh, looking at how technology uh, assists us in, in our uh, daily activities and other needs to provide goods and services as well as information. Okay? But syempre, hindi naman lahat yan ay all very beautiful or beautiful kasi sinasabi dito dapat daw you don't assume the cost and effect linkages are, are, are precise kasi we cannot do away with making judgments, um, estimates, diba? Yung target estimate yan eh. At saka huwag kang masyadong mataas ang level ng expectation. No? Uh, we can do baby steps, no? One step at a time. And um, Sabi nga dito, yung don't choose only the objective measure on the scorecard kasi you have to you have to view things on a broader perspective. No? 
para hindi mayopic yung ano natin na uh, pag evaluate and um, it's always a balance between uh, all aspects ayan ang pinakamahirap di ba magbalanse kahit sa sa relasyon a balancing between both uh, cost and benefit and kaya nga we made mention of non financial measure uh, tools kasi hindi lahat ng importante kayang bigyan ng halaga di ba so yun kailangan paminsan-minsan ginigising natin yung sarili natin diyan um ang ang um, experience point ko dito i-define mo to tapos magbigay kayo ng sample ha yun at saka when enough is enough pagdating <laughs> sa measure. So, you have to prioritize. Kaya may, may mga measure kayo na, kaya may statistical measure class. Uh, dapat alam nyo ano yung most significant. Pipiliin nyo, prioritizing. No? Uh, eh, sa dami, baka naman lumubog ka na at hindi mo na, uh, mahirap din eh, yung sobrang dami. Kaya kailangan, uh, less is more. ba diba? Okay. So, We'll have a sample after this. Uh, thank you for, for listening. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll uh, have appreciated more the balance scorecard in relation to the organization's uh, strategies, the relationship. Keep safe. Okay. And uh, I hope that uh, if you have any question, you just ask.